We've all been there before. You or a loved one have a birthday coming up and you decide it's a great idea to attempt to make your own homemade layer cake instead of calling in a professional. All of a sudden you see the whole thing come tumbling down or leaning more than the Tower of Pisa. Thankfully, our next guests have a few ideas to avoid those pitfalls. We're being joined by Tristan Chasing Hawk and his sister Aurora Forbes. And they're here today to show us how we can DIY our own show-stopping layer cake. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, of <laughs> course. Thanks for coming in. These, just looking at it and just even the sound and saying layer cake, that just sounds tricky to begin with. So we're going to just get started first. And then I have some questions about how you got into this. But when it comes to making a layer cake, the process, how do you even begin? Absolutely. So uh, we started baking last night. Uh, yeah. Probably about six o'clock and we weren't finished until about 10. Uh, just because when baking cakes, uh, with this one specifically, it takes time to chill after you bake it. Um, and then this one we also uh, cut in half. So instead of like two cakes, it's like four cakes too. So okay. it like, took extra time then. Um, so your first tip is to make sure that you have the right time amount of time because you need to set aside basically a half a day. Absolutely. To yeah. make this. Okay. <laughs> So you have this process done then. So basically, did you use like a normal cake recipe for that? Or is there something special you have to do with a cake recipe? Uh, any cake recipe should be fine, okay. honestly, if, as long as it works for you. Uh, typically, we just look for whatever online and hope for the best. Um, a few alterations here and there because we've been doing this for a little bit and kind of know what we like. So, But other than that, just a standard cake recipe, yeah. <laughs> So you, what process are you in now? You have the four pieces that you cut, and like you said, you can do it in two pieces, but you decided to do the four today. Mm -hmm. So you have that part done. Okay, so once that's done, then what do you do next? All right, well, we have all of our components done to get it together. Um, today we're building a naked cake, so it's not gonna have frosting on the outside part, which also takes forever. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> do you wanna start putting a little bit down? Oh, so you're putting it down before you even put the cake. So yeah. that it sticks to the... Should I add? What kind of frosting are you using, Aurora? Um, well, I don't really know what it is, but my brother makes really good frosting. Really good frosting? Because whenever I make it, it always turns out very <laughs> bad. Just a, a cream cheese, whipped cream kind of frosting, oh, so it's like nice cream and airy. Cream cheese hairy. frosting is the best. All right. Put it down. So there's that first layer that we're putting down. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, that looks good and moist. All right. Okay, so you only put it in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For it to stick. Okay, so once you have that first one done, what's next? We're jelly layer. Some of this jelly. What kind of jelly is it? It is a strawberry jelly because the whole cake is themed to strawberries. I Not like that theme. All? No, because okay. we got to do it on each layer. That's so just like a thin layer, yeah. So you put it around the whole entire layer when you're doing it yes yeah. we're gonna put fresh strawberries on the cake too and if we just put strawberries on a cake uh, it's gonna get really soggy really quickly kind of like bleed into it a little yeah. bit with the color how do you get the cake layered cut so perfectly like i feel like if i tried to cut something in half it would be not straight across uh a lot of hope a lot of hope <laughs> <laughs> we have a similar issues right aurora when we yeah. try cutting cakes and stuff yeah. and most of the time we don't honestly if we're just baking for ourselves but yeah. we thought to go all out this time right. so be a little okay. profesh <laughs> all right so what goes with the jelly all right next we're gonna do oh strawberries yeah oh so you're putting them in all the layers mm -hmm. not just on top so for a garnish let's do I like, out too. sure yeah. maybe so just like, around the edge yeah outside oops sorry for pushing that Will they kind of stick out then? A little bit, yeah. You'll be able to like see that there's strawberries in there? Mm-hmm. That way, um, that's part of like the coolness of a naked cake, I suppose, is that it, uh, um, okay. let's just put like a few in the middle here. Just Oops. even it out a little bit. There we go. I have tons it's of extra, out. so. All right. Then frosting? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> All right, so while Aurora is doing the frosting, and are you doing it around the whole thing or just the edges? The whole thing. The whole, the whole thing. thing? Okay, so while you're doing that, let's take a look. We have a video of some different cakes that you guys have completed in the past, and I'm, I'm curious to see these because you guys are telling me about some of the things you do, and it's pretty awesome. So right now we're looking at, look, it's a puppy. 
What's that one? Oh. That's like um, that was just like a like fondant kind of. Oh, you use fondant? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Paris cake. We oh made a gosh. chocolate Eiffel Tower. How in the world did you get to stand up? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of chocolate. <laughs> a dog bowl. Yeah, kibbles, a Snickers. This is one we just did for her uh, 12th birthday. That was last week. Oh my gosh, that looks yeah. delicious. Yeah. All the sprinkles on the side. Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, how did you do that? Did you like roll it in sprinkles? Mm. Yeah. Pretty much. Just oh my had gosh. To... So that one took a long time because you have frosting all over the oh, edges. Yeah. yeah. A lot of time. And a lot of frosting. Probably about six uh, six of butter worth. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, did you use the cream cheese frosting for that one too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, kinda. Okay. That one was more um, put together though, just because it had to be like structural yeah. for the cake, kinda. Okay. So. Anything Me and good. my friends made all the cakes and my brother decorated it. Oh, okay. Kind of have your little jobs that you do then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so is that how one layer goes? Yep. Yeah. All right, and then you add the next, the next one, and so then that will stick because of the frosting. Let's do. Actually, yeah, let's do. How one do you know one which one, one to choose next? Um, I'm just going by levelness. Okay. Um, and one of these is a little more cracked than the other two, to be honest. Okay. So we only have about a minute and a half left. So are you basically going to keep repeating this until you get to the top layer? Absolutely. Yeah. And then what are you going to do to the top layer? We have uh, some fresh cut strawberries that we left the green on and some basil just to put on top. It's a nice fresh cake. Yeah. Uh, summery kind of so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this sounds delicious. Let's keep working on it. Sure. And then we can finish it during the break if we don't finish it in time so we can get a final product picture because, I mean, this is gorgeous. I still just can't. I just, I don't think I would be able to cut it straight across. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a special I, big knife or something? We just use a big um, bread knife. Okay, so that much. helps make it a little bit easier. A little bit, yeah. Still had some issues just with, um, we used a little bit of brown sugar in this recipe. <laughs> okay. Um, and that made it kind of more caramelized on the outside, which okay. made it like harder. So then it like cracked a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, it's all together now, thankfully. So for those who do want to decorate the outside and use frosting, um, what tips do you have for frosting, like the outside and decorating the outside? A uh, piping bag is going to be your best friend, I think. Okay. Uh, it just really allows for control when you're doing along the sides um, of where you're putting it in. Uh, if you have like bigger cracks in between layers, it helps you fill in a little bit more like precisely. Mm -hmm. That way, when you go in with a bench scraper to do your um, your uh, the first layer of frosting, uh, then it's going to be a lot easier for you instead of having to try to knife it through. What if you yeah. accidentally stab the cake? What if you have crumbs everywhere? So, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like you mentioned too, the chilling part for the actual cake baking is so important too. So mm. you can't cheat on this one. Well, we are out of time. We're going to finish this up over the break, but thank you guys so much for coming in. We'll have more details um, under our article on our webpage if anyone has any more questions or a recipe that they want to try out. So thank you both so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. <laughs>